Cal from BHB UK. As you can see, we've got a few minis in today. I'd just like to show you the process behind the development of our remotes. We're fairly accustomed to the, the minis, but we always start our development by getting accustomed to the car, see how it feels, see how it drives, spend a little bit of time driving it, quite a lot of time driving it. And uh, you know, the results we've got work in the real world, not just on the dyno. Display there shows us how much power we're producing and how much we're using. A little uh, full throttle squirt there gave us a use of a uh, full 190 brake horsepower that this car is currently producing. Just look out for the uh, national speed limit signs and uh, you can go and enjoy the Mini. test and we're ready to download this car. This particular car is a 2018 F56 chassis Cooper S uh, running the BMW B48 2 litre turbocharged engine developing 189 brake horsepower. So on this particular car we've got uh, an ability to put it into dyno mode which is uh, just uh, pressing a sequence of buttons and then we get this on the centre display that says that we are in uh, test mode and it's been activated and then we can okay to run it on the dyno. development vehicle we're going to remove the ECU uh, and move it on the bench uh, for future vehicles we will be able to do through the OBD setting. So we've done the, the uh, initial runs on the Mini and the first things we look at is to obviously see what kind of power it's making. Incidentally for tuning purposes uh, we always measure the power at the wheels. Uh, this is a, an area of contention really between tuners but we always work at uh, to power at the wheels and then we can work out the, um, the transmission losses afterwards. Uh, the transmission losses, our dyno works out itself from rundown, so there's not, it's an actual measurement. It's not just a percentage of what the, what the car makes. Anyway, the Mini's made 169 brake horsepower at the wheels. If we put the clutch power figure on, we get 187. BMW claim this makes 189, we've got 187.75, so we know it's a good reliable dyno run to start with. Once we've done that, we've also logged things like the air fuel at the top you can see here, uh, and modern cars are getting leaner and leaner. Up to 3,600 RPM, it's still running at pretty much stoichiometric ratio, 14.68, and then it starts to get richer. Uh, to the richest point of about 13.26 at standard. So now we've got all the, uh, the, the data that we need from the standard car. David's going to put the, the mapped uh, file on the car and we're going to run it again to see what we've made. We've been down on this car that much that we've had to fill it the fuel now. We can carry on. There's a bit of blood here. I'm not to splash down, but I think I failed a bit. Well, the, the dyno testing done, and uh, we're ready to go out again and do some real world testing. And of course, because we live in the north of England, as plush and green and as beautiful as the rolling hills are, it's starting to rain. Because this car is an automatic, we've limited the power to about 244, 240 brake horsepower thereabouts. Uh, just make sure we're not going to cause any issues with the, with the gearbox. The manual car, we can go a little bit more, probably 270, 
possibly even 280 is achievable. Uh, this car shares the same engine as the, the BMW 428 or the 328 i uh, So it is definitely a down-tuned model uh, and it's, it's got the power there to give you. It's before we start to look at stage two conversions, stage two mods, which are obviously your intercooler, your exhaust. This car, other than the map, is totally stock. I'm gonna try a couple of launches in the rain, just see see how we get on, really. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get the best times possible, but we'll give it a go. Traction control lights spinning up there. Right, so we've done the, the, the development that we needed to. We've done about 43 runs on this Mini now, 42 runs on this Mini now. Uh, we've got the figures that we want to achieve. Uh, we always, again, come back to the dyno just to make sure everything is right. Uh, the car's gone up from standard at 169 brake horsepower at the wheels to 228.9 brake horsepower at the wheels. If we convert that using the course down to clutch power, we're up from 187.7 to 243.8. Again, we just make sure that everything is running safely and as it should be doing as far as the engine parameters are concerned. One of the most important things is air fuel. The stock car at uh, 6,000 RPM was, making, was running at 13.47 and we're now down to 12.5, which is a little bit richer and a little bit safer. Below 3,500 3, RPM, we're still running pretty much at a stock scoichometric ratio, uh, which will make sure that you still get the fuel economy out of the car. So that's a brief insight into how we develop the maps on the Mini. It's the same process that we use across the board on any vehicle that we get in to develop. If you've got any questions or any comments, just drop them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you.